from jumping back behind the wheel of an RB7 and showing off his driving prowess, to winning the 2018 Monaco Grand Prix even after losing 25% of his engine power. Here are the times Daniel Ricciardo defied belief, starting with his latest Red Bull video that blew my mind. Honestly, that's something no other F1 star has even come close to doing. Recently, in the lead up to the Australian Grand Prix, Ricardo was behind the wheel of a Red Bull Formula 1 car. And let's just say, the 8-time Grand Prix winner pretty much put the F1 car through its paces, on terrain it's never seen before. In fact, the Red Bull team posted a video titled, Daniel Ricardo's Great Aussie Road Trip, where the Honey Badger native was showing off his driving prowess. I mean, let's not forget the team's literally known for all the wild stuff they're up to. So this video couldn't be another regular post. Nope. Instead, the 9-minute video had a bunch of movie-like scenes in it too. At one point, Ricardo was even trying to overtake a helicopter that was buzzing right above him. Plus, he wasn't the only one in the video either. In fact, he had a bunch of other team members join him, like Daniel Sanders, Shane Van Gisbergen, and Toby Price. And if that wasn't enough, Paul, an air pilot, was also flying over the F1 car as it crossed the Sea Cliff Bridge right before moving on to Bondi Beach. Having said that, there was one true highlight of the video, and that's watching the Red Bull fly around Australia's most famous track. Not to mention, Ricardo was pretty excited throughout this. He even said that right after his Red Bull racing road trip back in San Francisco. He's been dreaming about doing the same in Australia, and he did it. Far from the long and windy roads around Albert Park, the Australian was literally blazing a dust trail. Plus, he's super excited to be back home, especially with the RB7, because this was also his first F1 event back home ever since he returned to the team. Not to forget that this wasn't an easy decision either. Right after his McLaren contract ended a year earlier than expected, he didn't have a lot of competitive options left for him to stay on the grid in 2023. Sure, some teams at the back of the grid, like Haas and Williams, offered him a racing seat, but he wasn't willing to go backwards. Instead, he felt a sabbatical was the right move. If he wanted to make a comeback in 2024, that was right until Red Bull stepped in with a reserve driver role, which he immediately accepted. Plus, it's the same team with whom he finished third in the World Championship twice, and even got seven out of his eight Grand Prix wins. Having said that, fans are hoping he can recreate the same magic he did over the years, like his first F1 victory at the 2014 Canadian Grand Prix. Back then, the race was unbelievable. The Honey Badger literally exploited issues going on in the Mercedes team to break their streak, even though he started off in sixth position, which was still three places behind Sebastian Vettel. And while it was definitely a disaster for Hamilton, Nico Rosberg wasn't too happy either. In fact, he was in the lead right up until the last two laps. That's when Ricardo gained speed and finally overtook Nico on the final lap to steal his first career victory. It's safe to say the race had fans glued to the edge of their seats, leaving them in complete shock by the end of it. And that's not even the only time he proved himself. At the 2018 Chinese Grand Prix, the Australian even had a damaged car. But did that stop him from a win? Of course not. He wasn't gonna let anything get in his way. And it was a sensational victory to say the least. Even though he started from sixth on the grid, he took advantage of a safety car situation to overtake his Ferrari and Mercedes rivals and made his way to the checkered flag. In fact, after his impressive victory, he said, I don't know what it is. I don't seem to win boring races. And boy, was that the truth. Every single race he won has always been so thrilling, while most even ended with an unexpected victory. Not to mention, he's got his way of coming out of unpredictable car issues and still winning the race, much like the 2018 Monaco Grand Prix. This time, he made it pretty clear over the team radio that he was suffering a lack of power from his car. And because of that, Vettel, his nearest competitor, managed to catch up. In fact, after the race, Christian Horner confirmed that he lost about 25% of the power of his engine. And if that wasn't enough, his brake temperatures were exploding. He needed to cool the brakes to cool the car, which simply wasn't an option for him. Meanwhile, Vettel was right up next to him, waiting for the Australian to make one tiny mistake so he could overtake him. And even Ricardo figured that the race was going to be over in a few corners for him. But even after all that, he managed to hold off Vettel, scoring an 
unbelievable win. I mean, how do you go from having to retire the car in two laps to literally taking the checkered flag? It seems like Ricardo was the only one who knew how to make it through, but that was Vettel, who despite his amazing performance over the years, still couldn't compete with the top F1 driver on the grid. Yep, I'm talking about the seven-time champion, Lewis Hamilton, in the 2021 Italian Grand Prix. Ricardo started second on the grid, which let him take the lead early in the race. But while that was an advantage, he also had to somehow hold off a charging Hamilton coming right after him. And maybe things could have been more difficult. But one crash changed everything. Basically, Hamilton and Max Verstappen crashed out of the Italian Grand Prix, and the Australian took advantage of the accident to claim his first McLaren win. Not to mention, this was also the team's first victory since the 2012 Brazilian Grand Prix. To top it off, his teammate Lando Norris also finished in second place, wrapping up an incredible race for McLaren. And this brings me to one of his last greatest moments on the grid, the 2021 Azerbaijan Grand Prix. This time, the Honey Badger started off from 12th on the grid, and making his way up to first place wasn't going to be any easier thanks to the late race start. On top of that, Red Bull was gaining control of the F1 season more and more, with Verstappen taking the championship lead. As for Ricardo, a well-timed virtual safety car caused by Kevin Magnussen practically flipped everything for him, because now his initial strategy to kickstart on hard tires worked out after all. That's when he first overtook his teammate who finished eighth, only to make his way to an impressive ninth place. Sure, it wasn't a victory, but the way he came out of the situation and still managed to make his way was definitely impressive. Having said that, now as a reserve driver, he's planning a comeback in 2024. But fans aren't sure if that's going to happen. Sure, everyone wants to see him bag unpredictable and thrilling victories again. But 2022 was a pretty career-changing year for him. When McLaren let him go, the top teams didn't have a spot for him. Sure, Mercedes reached out with a reserve driver role. And rumor has it, he was supposed to replace Hamilton after he potentially retired this year. But that rumor was soon debunked by the seven-time champion himself. That said, by the end of this year, you're going to know if Ricardo's going to be sticking around or not. Because even though he is a reserve driver, he's still associated with a top team. And that matters a lot more than you think when the teams are looking for potential drivers for the upcoming season. So it's only a matter of time before we see where his career takes him. Norris, that's the big key. No, he's not. And there's Max Verstappen right behind Hamilton into the first chicane once again. Until then, these were the times Daniel Ricciardo defied belief. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. It's wheel to wheel, Hamilton and Verstappen, oh. and this time Verstappen and Hamilton have crashed out. And